I genuinely feel like all we have talked about recently is the hunt. Yes, I know that the hunt is happening and I know that people need to talk about this and even after this video we are probably gonna keep talking about the hunt. But right now I want to stop talking about the hunt so instead I'm going to complain and whilst I am complaining I'm gonna use that as an excuse to show you guys some of my outfits because I actually quite like them and when I use some of these outfits people do recognize them and they scream the characters in the comments and that's always very fun. So first I'm gonna join catalog avatar creator so that I can actually show you guys these avatars. There are plenty of other games that I can show my own avatars in, I just feel like this one is the easiest one because there is nothing in this game except a, a dinosaur and whatever that creature is supposed to be, I'm sorry. I know that, oh by the way, ignore the walk or the run, whatever this is, just completely ignore it. I'm so sorry that you have to see this again. I don't entirely know what that is supposed to be, but there you go, enjoy. So my complaints, I did say that I was going to complain, then I got sidetracked, I'm sorry, I get distracted very easily, but what we are complaining about today, or what I'm complaining about because nobody else mentioned this, is the fact that you can only save 50 outfits. Like we have in characters purchased, which is bundles and stuff like that, and the animation packs, of course, I did recently buy the bold animation pack because we talked about it, we laughed about it, we had a very good time and it made me want to buy it even more. But we also have creations, which you can create a new avatar. Look, if I do this right now and press create, you have reached the maximum didn't get to read it fast enough, I'm so sorry. You have reached the maximum number of characters, like I have 50 outfits saved right here and that's it. Every time I make a new avatar that I want to save, I have to delete an old one, which is kind of upsetting because I've been saving these avatars since 2015, which I will never use these ever again, but it's kind of like a glimpse into the past of, of me on Roblox and who I no longer am, I guess. They are not bad avatars, I just don't think I'm ever gonna use Christmas 2015 ever again. Also, this is literally my YouTube avatar. This is Chloe Games, basically. I just, again, really don't think that I'm ever going to use them ever again. The only reason that I want to keep some of these is because it's a glimpse into the past of me on Roblox, something that I won't really ever get to keep if I deleted these avatars, which I'm pretty much forced to do if I want to save a new avatar. Okay, now I just want to show you my avatars because like I said, in my comments, people shout out when I'm using like a cosplay, I guess. The one I am wearing right now is Alistair. People mention Alistair so much. What the hell is that? Did you? It's speaking to me. Ew, no, no, now I'm scared. I'm leaving. Can I please join a different server? Should I go to a VIP server? Oh my god, that scared me. That thing, that creature was speaking to me. Let me join a different server. A VIP server even. So yeah, everyone always mentions Alistair immediately when I'm wearing this. On the video that I made about this animation pack because of how like zesty it is, my entire comment section is just filled with people mentioning Alistair. And then the second one I would say that people mention the most is Blade from Honkai Star Rail, which is it's it's a game. I think even very interestingly, Flamingo was sponsored by Honkai Star Rail once. So that was very fun to see, but yeah, it's it's literally just Bladey. Look at him. He's just just a guy. He's a guy. I don't know, I'm not trying to explain too much about the, the games or the shows, what these things are from, I just want to show you the avatars because if you guys know who they are, it's very fun for you to recognise them. I also have, from the same game, Honkai Star Rail, we have Sampo, uh, we have a couple from anime, we have Doma from Demon Slayer, which is actually a very fun one. I do like this one because it's using one of those heads that people create so that they can kind of bypass it and technically make a Roblox face and it looks very cool, I think personally. Yeah, this is Doma. This is the guy, Doma. The very innocent, silly guy who has never done anything wrong in his whole entire life. Grimjaw from Bleach. For some reason, they censored and hashtagged Grimjaw, so I had to put the number six because he is number six. I mean, if you know Bleach, you know what I'm talking about. Mori from Bungo Stray Dogs. I don't know. These ones are probably a little less known because people don't ever really call these ones out. I did more recently get quite a lot of people mentioning to me this one when I finally respawn and can show you it's a Starion. He's a cutie. He is a vampire and also 
an elf and it's just a very cool avatar. I even have his little knife. Th there is supposed to be two, but I could only add one onto the avatar, but ignore that. It's not entirely accurate, but as you can see, I, I like to use this face for some reason in a lot of my cosplay avatars. And finally, it has a purpose because Astarian is a vampire. Also, this is supposed to be Chamber from Valorant. I don't think that anybody has ever mentioned that one, but that's who that is. He would never do that pose. I'm sorry. I feel like a lot of this is just going to be very out of character characters. Wancy is supposed to be. This one actually got quite a lot of people mentioning it and it wasn't for people to be excited and be like, hey look, it's this guy. This one was more people mentioning like, why the hell are you dressed as the Wanceler from the Lorax? My answer to that is I love the Wanceler from the Lorax. Who doesn't love the Wanceler from the Lorax? And it's actually a very good avatar. It looks very accurate, I would say. Even the guitar is pretty much his guitar, which I don't think it was supposed to be. But I go back to Alistair as I finish up my complaining about whatever I was complaining about. I feel like this video was so unbelievably random, but it's just, that's the way that it has to be. I really hit the fact that they only allow you to save 50 outfits because if I make a new avatar after I'm done with Alistair I guess I'm gonna have to delete one of these to be able to save them and it's not that bad but eventually what if I reach 50 after deleting all of the ones that I've wanted to delete and then I have to start deleting my newer avatars just to fit the newer newer avatars and it's just gonna be a very bad cycle is there even a logical explanation or any kind Find a reason that would make sense as to why Roblox only allows you to save 50 because I don't know. So please, the comments is the place to go. Tell me what you guys think about Roblox only allowing you to save 50 outfits for some reason. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.